Oh, I've got a full hour for a lovely hot bubble bath. Sorry, we're closed. And then I'll put my face on, and then I'll do my crowning glory. Try again at five o'clock. Oh, old dog. Never mind, hold on, Jack. If that's Len Fairclough and his cronies up to their tricks, we're not having them in. You can go and whistle. Try the back door of the flying horse. Oh, we'll soon see that. Oh, Mrs. Harvey. Hello, Anne. Oh, you've taken me completely by a And Jackie, well, how are you? Jackie. Hello, Nellie Love, still as bonny as ever, oh, eh? flatterer. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you can keep your David Nivens. Jack, I didn't know that you and Mrs. Harvey, you never mentioned. I didn't know that you Oh, indeed, Jack. yes. We're old dancing partners, aren't we, Jackie? Yes. Ah, when was it? Oh, Larson's Littler's Ball, the year before last. Three St. Bernard waltzes in a row. Oh, and doesn't he look smart? Yes, but then he always looks smart, your husband. I must apologise for my appearance, Mrs. Harvey, but you've taken me rather by surprise. I mean, I'm never so disabby at three in the afternoon. Oh, well, I'm sorry I'm early, and I should have let you That's know. That's all right, love, don't you fret. But I thought you might like to look over the Ladies' Committee's recommendations on cold buffet catering. Oh, yes, indeed. Any help I can give to the committee in Mind any you, way, if I'd I known that my Jackie was you. going to be here, I'd have brought me dancing pumps. Shall we go through? Ah, oh, straight through the glass doors into the pallid dance. Cheeky! Oh, honestly, you can keep your Lionel Blairs. <laughs> oh, I did have a good hey, time. Hey, Nelly, look hard. Oh, it was semi-finals, and it was up to me, you see, till the fellas were nearly sitting on top of Jack. Uh, do you see much crown green bowling? Uh, well, no, but I can picture it. Go on. So yeah. I said to myself, Jack, I said, big match temperament. That's what you need. It's either him or thee. Or you. Pardon? Uh, him or you. <laughs> Jack accidentally said, or, or thee. <laughs> you know, dear, I'm sure Mrs. Harvey isn't interested in your bowling exploits. Well, go on, what happened? Well, I said, oh, well, if I win, all oh, well and good. And if I lose, well, it's only another cup less round it to polish. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Oh, he's a comic, isn't he? You can keep all your Jimmy Tarbo. <laughs> you know, Mrs. Harvey, on reflection, I rather veer to the opinion that point two should be emphasised more forcibly. That is, if you concur, of course. Point two I mean, with your experience. Oh, the committee's recommendations on buffet catering. You see, from my knowledge of the trade, I'd... Well, do... come on, don't keep me in suspense. Who won? I did. Mind you, the sun was in my eyes when I did it. Oh, go on. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, I do like a man to be active. <laughs> yes, well, of course, one has to encourage them. Now, point two, in accordance with the Food and Drug Acts, which, of course... Now, my are... Arthur, you know, is different again. Can I get him out of that armchair? Do you know, I think the only exercise he ever gets is driving to the Rotary meetings once a month. <laughs> a little more strawberry flan, Mrs. Harvey, it is homemade. Well, what about the master of the house? Hey. A little more for you, Jackie, or do you athletes have to keep in strict training? Well, actually, Jack hasn't got a sweet tooth. Do you know he wouldn't care if he never saw another cake oh, or strawberry? On, I'll risk it. You know what they say, the old woman forced a pig and it died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Help yourself, Jackie, dear. Well, thanks ever so much, Jack. And you too, Anne. Oh, I have enjoyed myself. Oh, no, not at all. You must pop round sometime again. When the committee elections are over, of course, naturally, I don't expect to serve the committee. You know, I always think it's a great pity that we can't have men on the ladies' committee. <laughs> oh, you're Arthur. Well, I mean, as chairman, honestly, you can keep all your Eamon Andrewses. <laughs> Of course, if ever I had the honour of being elected to the committee, which I don't imagine for one moment I should... Well, you better start then, Anne. Pardon? Imagining that you will, if I have my way, which I will, you'll be elected chairman. Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe it. Nothing was further from... I'll have a word with the girls. I usually see to it that they're guided by me. Oh, Mrs. Harvey, Nelly, if I am put on the committee, I'll... Well, I'll see you at the next exec meeting, oh. then. Bye-bye, Jackie. Stay as sweet as you are. Uh, cheerio, love, and just be good now. <laughs> Goodbye, Mrs. Harvey, and thank you. Well, chairman at Lady Vittler's, eh? So it seems. In the autumn of your years, may life present you with few tears. And for every hair that's grey, May you have great joy this day. 
Insist that you stay for a cup of tea. The kettle's just boiled. Well, I wasn't too sure how welcome I'd be <laughs> after our little difference over the motel opening. Well, you were a little hasty in your judgment, weren't you, dear? But I'm not one to bear a grudge. <laughs> it is, isn't it? What, dear? It is your birthday. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> I thought I hadn't got the date wrong. <laughs> no, you haven't. <laughs> I don't see any cards, though. I put them up in my bedroom, dear. They gather less dust there. Oh, it doesn't improve, does it? What? This district. Oh, well, it's the people that matter. <laughs> Let's see, and um, how old will you be now? Not getting any younger. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I've been working it out, and I guess... Did you, dear? <laughs> e. And Beaumont that was. Who'd have thought the day would have... To Do be? sit down, dear. I know you don't like standing much. Oh, that's <laughs> not me, dear. That's Herbert. Oh, mm. no. I'm as sprightly as a chicken. But then you are nowadays in your fifties, aren't you? Especially if you've taken care of yourself. But here I am chattering on and nearly forgetting what I came for. What was that, Nelly? <laughs> to give you these, of course. Oh. Now, first, the card. They're in the bedroom, you say, your other cards? Yes. Hmm, different. Do you like it? Very much. In the autumn of your days... I thought the verse was so appropriate. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and now, your present. Chocolates? Shortbread. Shortbread. Actually, I got it in Scotland when Herbert and me were there at Wit. <laughs> you know how you fancy things when you're on holiday and then when you get them home you've gone right off them. Mm. <laughs> you do like shortbread, don't you? Love it. Now, you're not just saying that to be polite. It is one of my favourite foods. Excuse me. <laughs> you Anne! Nelly, why, I'm having a surfeit of your company today. <laughs> well, I said to her, but I cannot let Anne spend her birthday evening without a friendly face to look at, I said. I'll go and cheer her up, I said. <laughs> I thought perhaps you'd come to sample the shortbread. Oh, I thought I told you I can't stand shortbread. It's much too sweet for my taste. Mm. I'm more of a savoury person. Indeed. <laughs> Though, funnily enough, I do have just one exception. I like me sherry sweet. <laughs> what a very resourceful way of asking for a drink, Nelly. <laughs> oh, do you think so? <laughs> hmm. You're not very busy tonight. Not very. Of course, that's the trouble with houses in working class districts. There's only money about at the weekend. Yes, but they do spend a fair proportion of it in liquid refreshment. Oh, aren't you joining me, Anne? Not in the mood, dear. Well, a happy birthday then, and as many more as you're lucky enough to have. Thank you, dear. Tell me something, Anne, mm -hmm. if it's not too personal. As if you could ever be personal, Nelly. Mm -hmm. Are you beginning to feel different? You know, a bit feeble. No, no, I only ask because, well, you, you don't seem to have changed all that much. I mean, you're on this place on your own. Nelly, dear. Yes, Anne. I'll let you into a little secret. If I don't alter very much, it's because of this special treatment. Special treatment? Mm. Not quite monkey glands, but something very similar. Costly. Don't think I'm being nosy, Anne, but uh, how do you afford this special treatment? I mean, I know you can't be exactly rolling in it, a small working-class house like this. I'm sorry you asked me that, Nelly, because you know how difficult it is for me to be untruthful. Go on. Well, it's financed by an admirer, a gentleman. Oh, is he? Do I know him? Well, unfortunately, dear, owing to his most difficult domestic situation, all I can tell you is he's something in the city. Excuse me. Oh, now, be fair, Anne. 
I mean, it's, a, it's no good mentioning something like that and then going all secretive about it. I don't quite follow you, Nelly. All right, I can understand you wanting to keep who your gentleman friend is secret. I mean, widows have to be careful. <laughs> you can so easily get yourself a reputation, can't you? But what's this stuff you're taking? But, Nelly, you don't want to restore your vitality, not at your age. No. Well, it wasn't for me, it was for Herbert. Oh, my dear. I couldn't expose Herbert to it. I mean, you remember what his tendencies used to be. We don't want him to be the talk of the town again. Where, where we can talk, Anne? Yes, of course, dear. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. I thought it would be <laughs> a happy new year. And to you, dear, all the very best. Actually, I tried to ring last night to extend the season's greetings. Last night? <laughs> About um, two minutes after midnight. And, of course, you couldn't get through. <laughs> oh, I got through all right. Mm. I got Arthur. Arthur? My Arthur, who else? Arthur? Here, dear. Are you sure? Well, if I'm not, I want me ears testing. I mean, I've been married to him for 25 years. Now you come to mention it, I did see Arthur at one stage of the evening. <laughs> you know what a throng we have here on New Year's Eve. <laughs> mm, it did sound a bit rowdy when I rang, actually, yes. Mm. Uh, tell me, Nella, dear, is something wrong between you and Arthur? Whatever makes you think that? Well, it seems so strange, dear, that he should be here so late last night. Well, mm. we had a few words, mm. and I chucked him out. Words, dear? What about? Oh, this other woman he keeps going on about. <laughs> A woman? Arthur? Oh, he worships her from afar. Of course, I've always thought she was a right tatar myself, but Arthur's quite impressed. Of course, he never did have much discernment in that direction. No, mm, you say so. I mean, like I said to him last night, all that glitters isn't necessarily gold, any more than all that's blonde is necessarily natural. <laughs> now, Nelly, before you start jumping to hasty conclusions... It's too late, love. I've already jumped. Nelly Harvey, keep a grip on yourself. Keep a grip? I'd like to keep a grip on that scrawny neck of yours and scratch your eyes out.